Dangers in plain sight. New pictures from inside of a Philadelphia elementary school show possible sources of asbestos. The teachers union recently announced a teacher at a different school was diagnosed with cancer tied to asbestos. Kimberly Davis is live now with the multi-million dollar new plan of attack to clean up city schools. Kim. Jazz, this plan of action will cost at least $100 million just to eliminate the asbestos, lead, and mold. And the environmental scientist behind this plan of action describes asbestos as a silent killer. The major risks associated with asbestos exposure are cancers like lung cancer. The school district of Philadelphia has a problem, asbestos, lead, and mold. That's why the Philadelphia Federation of Teachers is proposing a solution. What we're proposing is that there be an upgraded assessment and evaluation of where all this material is, and so we can identify all of it for sure and for certain. After the assessment, the high-risk areas will be identified, stabilized, and cleaned. Lastly, that there is a long-term plan to remove all of them from all schools as quickly as possible. This is a program that has been in the works for years now. More than 175 schools are dealing with damaged asbestos. The plan would cost $100 million and would take about three to five years to remove all the asbestos. A teacher who spent a large part of her 30-year career teaching at William M. Meredith School was diagnosed with mesothelioma cancer associated to exposure to asbestos. We have 130,000 or so students. You have another 20,000 employees. You have parents and siblings and others walking into schools. When you have a quarter of a million people who are exposed, even low risks can, can cause a lot of harm. That's a risk. PTF is working to eliminate. We're also recommending that the district work with us and work closely to look at how we might better spend the money that we do have. The school district of Philadelphia sent us a statement this evening reading in part today district staff met with the Philadelphia Federation of Teachers for several hours on a joint approach to address environmental conditions in schools which mirrors what was released by the PTF. This is the first we are seeing this plan and look forward to reviewing it. A spokesperson with the school district of Philadelphia goes on to say after they review the plan they will be able to comment on it at the school board meeting happening tomorrow night at 5 o'clock. We're live at the School District of Philadelphia. I'm Kimberly Davis, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Kimberly, thank you.